All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sort through some stuff. I just picked some random stuff because the pile is just out of control. So we're gonna go ahead and go through some stuff and see what we find. So we're gonna start with this box of 2006 Bazooka Baseball. The majority of the boxes of cards out there have already been opened. There is very, very, very little unopened. So we're just gonna go ahead and go through. Oh, so this, oh, mini sticker album, okay. Yeah, these have been opened as you can see, but this fell out too. This is like a Mickey Mantle three by five ish box topper type deal. Reprint of the 61 tops mantle. So that's kind of cool. And this also fell out as well. This is an Ernie Banks reprint of some lot, some variety. All right, well, let's see what 2006 Bazooka was all about. It says it has three game used relics. Now, I don't know if those would still be in here. I see that the gum is still in here. If anybody ever wants any baseball card gum that's 20 years old, let me know. Oh, look at that, there's comics. That's kind of cool. And those golds are like really thick in comparison to all the other ones. And a blue. Comic of gold and a blue. I don't know if that's standard or... I don't know how much of that stuff is one per pack. Obviously one brick of gum per pack. All the stars of yesteryear. Hoping the relics are still in here since the gum's still in here. That'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind finding a bunch of 06 relics. What would 06 bring us? Probably a Vlad Sr., maybe? Um, Jeter? Aroid? Tail end of Griffey. There'd be, still be some Griffey there. I don't know. There's some hope for some things. So the comics aren't. Oh, yep. Speaking of Vlad Sr. A Vlad Sr. comic, and these are like super thin. Like, I'll show you guys the difference. Like, here's a gold, here's one of the comics. It's insane. They're very flimsy. They're like one of the gum, one of the comics off of a piece of bazooka gum. So we got two of those so far. So I'm guessing the comics are pretty common. And then the blue, where well, it seems to be one blue and one gold per pack. So we got Pujols, Pedro, King Felix. Oh, that's different. That's a Jeter. As some of you may know, I PC Jeter. Son's middle name is Jeter. Might have a bit of a Jeter addiction. I don't know. And no, that's not a recent development. I've been a Jeter fan since 98. Manny. Still think it's a shame that that whole steroid era is not in the hall and not worth that much. It's just what their generation did. It doesn't make them any less. Sorry, but every generation had their advantages. Pedro gold or bronze, whatever they call that in these. That gum's sticky. That's gross. Tejada. Got a blue mantle. Notice Tops really holds on to put in mantle in a lot of stuff. It can be frustrating at times. How can we forget you if you don't go away? Or, I'm sorry, I butchered that. How can we miss you if you don't go away? Hey, there's a blue Jeter. 
for me, PC wise, that's pretty much what I'm looking for in baseball is Jeter or just rookies of players from my childhood. A lot of this other stuff is probably just going to be bin filler for card show or something. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. And uh, if anybody sees anything that they really like or anything like that, you know, shoot me a message in the comments. Or you can hit me up on Facebook. I have a break page. Um, A, the ampersand J, A and J breaks on Facebook. Um, oh, there's a relic. It's a Damon Bat relic. If anybody watching these videos, oh, and there's a young Miguel Cabrera. Man, he used to be thin. If anybody wants to hit me up, though, on Facebook, if you see anything you like, hit me up. We can work something out. I'm a big Jeter fan if you want to trade. I'm a big money fan if you want to buy. Josh Gibson, nice. I like that. Need to see more of those guys. Too many people do Negro League cards with the guys that made the big leagues. Too many of the guys that never made the big leagues get too forgotten. There's another relic. Nelson Cruz, little jersey relic there. Andrew Jones is our blue. So I guess when you get a relic, you don't get a gold. Maybe that's why the golds are so thick, so you couldn't be a pack feeler. Dirty pack feelers. I don't know how many of you guys encounter the pack feelers when you're at Target or Walmart trying to buy modern wax. But I just want to walk up and kick them in the dick. Paul LaDuca. I'm sorry, kick him in the ding ding. Do miss the days of the Tigers having Pudge. Everybody pour yourself a drink. So I'm going a little slower as I am under the influence than I originally planned to. So I'm probably going to cut this off at 10 minutes because I find that that's a little better video length. People seem to like the little briefer videos a little bit better. So I'll probably finish this box and then do those shoe boxes as their own videos or you know maybe video. Haven't really peeked in them too far, just opened them up. They're both full of individual cards and top loaders. I didn't really sort through to see what's in those top loaders, but you know, anytime it's a box full of top loaders and you're know, sorting through a whole collection, you gotta see what you got. Aroid comic. They should they should have done a comic about a steroid user. It's funny, I don't understand why the steroid users get a bad rap, and then I'm cracking on them. Uh, hypocrite much? So, we pulled the three relics, so I highly doubt there's anything too exciting. Beyond. Oh, but there's another relic. That is a Manny Ramirez relic. And I believe this is definitely still from an era when they're all game-used. Leading players from the past, present, and future. The relic contained on this card is not from a specific event, game, or season. Doesn't necessarily mean it's not game used. Oh, yeah. Authentic game-worn uniform. Nice. That's just okay. like it. Well, I guess I was wrong. I guess we pulled four relics. We got three jerseys and a bat. And one of them was a double jersey. 
It had two triangles instead of just one. There's a base mantle. Francoeur. Hey, there's a Bonds. Jimmy Rollins, Hank Blaylock. There's so many stars that were huge stars at the time that you just knew were great that you wind up just forgetting all about because they don't make the haul and they don't get a broadcasting job and so on and so forth. Rafi Palmero, another man whose history was eradicated by his steroid usage. I think we took that crap way too far. But that's a box of 2006 Bazooka Baseball. Claims three game used relics in every box, but we got four, including a bat relic and a double patch relic. So, oh, apparently there's autographs available in this too. So, anyway, with that, we'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, right down there at the bottom, hit the subscribe and like, and I will keep doing more videos sorting through this monstrous collection. We'll see what kind of fun we can find. See you next time.